Hello, beautiful creative friends. It's Belinda, and I am thrilled to be here today sharing another project for Rosie's Studio using the gorgeous All Wrapped Up collection, which is one of their brand new Christmas collections for 2023. As you can see, I have already prepared a cut file off camera. I wanted to create a layout with a little bit of contrast. So this time I've cut those baubles out using a black textured cardstock. And then I have used some pattern papers from the six by six paper pad, as well as some glitter paper to back those baubles. I've got a little, little four by four photo of my family from Christmas last year. And I'm just gonna be documenting something really simple. Um, I've grabbed a fun little Christmassy quote, which I have adapted, and it's just gonna be a really clean and simple page. So while I've been chatting, I have trimmed down my white cardstock. And I have also gutted the inside of that holly sprig patterned paper, glued it down, and then I've taken it over to my sewing machine and I've added some black thread uh, to the border. I really love the contrast that, that provides. Uh, I don't usually use a lot of black in my layouts, but for this one, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I also had that piece of green um, checked, is it buffalo check? patterned paper and I did run some stitching around the outside of that using some white thread on my sewing machine. I'm not sure that you can really see it all that well but it is there and it just adds another little layer of texture and visual interest to the backing of that photo. I did already go ahead and mount the photo onto a white cardstock mat, which is something that I always do. And then I'm also adding some tissue paper behind the green pattern paper, just to add a little bit of softness and to um, add just another layer there, which before it sits against the white background. So I do want to add a little bit of dimension because I know that I'm going to use some foam tape behind those baubles. So I want to add, make sure that I've got some behind my photo. Some of the baubles are going to sit behind the photo and some are going to sit slightly overlapping the photo. So I need to make sure that everything is roughly on the same level to prevent things from bending and sinking on the page over time. So I'm just working out where I want things to be placed. I did have a little bit of a play around off camera before I started filming. So I had a pretty good idea of where I wanted things to go anyway, which makes this layout come together really quickly and easily. I've added some uh, of my ATG tape and used my T-square ruler to make sure that my photo is nice and straight. You can see that I haven't completely centered it. I do have it off to the side a little bit and I'm gonna balance that out by placing two of the baubles to the right-hand side of the photo and one to the left. So that does provide the layout with balance even though that photo is there off to the left. Now, as I said, I knew that I wanted to lift these baubles up off the page, so I am using my trusty giant roll of foam tape, which I purchased from Bunnings. That's a hardware store here in Australia. I'm not that bauble that's going behind, tucking behind the photo. I'm not adding any foam tape to that, obviously, because it is going to sit behind the photo. And it's good to have a couple of different layers of dimension on your layout. It just helps to keep things visually interesting. But here comes that foam tape again. I'm gonna pop that behind the third bauble there. I do love this foam tape. I've talked about it in many of my videos for my Australian viewers. You can get this at Bunnings. I purchased the acid-free version, which I think is around $16 for the giant roll. It is super strong. It is super sticky. It's the perfect height. The only problem that I have with it is that the backing can be a little bit tricky to pull off sometimes. So I do use my little pokey tool to help me out. Now, to give these baubles more of a hanging look, I've grabbed some black, this is DNC thread from my little stash, and I'm just measuring it out. I want it to be doubled over, so I want there to be two threads. I haven't split these, that's still the full six strands, but I've measured it out so that there's enough for it to go through, hook through the top of the bauble, and then give me two strands running up to the top of the page, and a little bit extra so that I have got some room to tuck it over the top of the page. And to secure these down, I'm gonna grab my little 
um, my little mini stapler. I'm just checking what color staples I have in there because I do have some different colored staples that I use from time to time. So I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have a bright blue or something crazy like that in there, which would not have gone with the layout. Um, but I do have these lovely gold staples in there which goes really well so i'm just adding two little staples to the top of each of those pieces of thread and as you can see i'm folding it over and i'm using my fingers underneath to hold it in place and then when i turn it over you will see i'm just going to turn it over in a minute and just check to make sure that they have caught on the other side but then just to add a little bit of extra security i've grabbed just some plain old um, sticky tape and I'm sticky taping over the top of the staples that will also help me when I come to put this layout into an album to make sure that those staples don't snag onto the layout that it's backing onto now once I had done that I realized that the bauble to the left it wasn't quite straight the thread wasn't running quite straight and since I couldn't pull those staples out and start again without leaving a hole I decided that I would just carefully lift up the foam and just shift it over a little bit so that it was straight again it's probably not something that would bother a lot of people but it is something that would definitely bother me so I had to fix that up now for my title, I'm using the words merry and bright. These words were included at the bottom of the puffy alpha stickers that come in this collection. I really loved that. I thought that was such a really cool and thoughtful touch. So as well as having all of your standard alphas, having those two words there, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I would love to see more of that in more collections um, using words that go well with the theme of the collection. Brilliant idea. Well done, Rosie Studio. Um, I have typed my journaling out on my typewriter, which is absolutely my favorite way to do my journaling. I've cut it down into strips and I have carefully uh, placed those down underneath the title. The title I did adhere down off camera and I added just a tiny bit of wet glue behind each of the letters. They are pretty sticky, but I have learned through past experience that it's best to add a little bit of extra adhesive when I'm sticking things down, just to make sure that over time, things don't come loose and start floating around in page protectors in my album which unfortunately does happen from time to time uh, now I'm going to create two embellishment clusters. I'm not going to go too crazy with these embellishment clusters because the baubles there, they really are the standout feature of this page and I want them to remain so. But of course, we have to add a little bit of prettiness around the photo. This collection has so many gorgeous florals. I absolutely love it. So I picked out two of the larger floral pieces and I've just added tucked one underneath the bottom left hand sorry the bottom right hand side of the photo and one underneath the top right hand side I've also gone through the three different embellishment packs and pulled out a few different bits and pieces that I think might go well with this layout and I'm just going to start layering those up now I have mentioned it in my previous videos but if this is the first time that you're seeing me working with this collection um, I do want to encourage you to head down to my description box below Rosie Studio have been generous enough to offer a discount to my subscribers wanting to purchase this collection you'll find all the details down in the description box below and the great thing is if you're not super confident about pulling the trigger on a Christmas collection yet because I know for my Northern Hemisphere friends it is the middle of summer and Christmas is probably the last thing on your mind at the moment but that discount code is good through to the end of December 2023. It is only valid for this collection the all wrapped up collection but it is absolutely gorgeous. I've made a few layouts with it already and I am going definitely going to be using it for my December daily album for 2023. So I had that, that was a little label piece and it was a sort of more of a square. It says all I want for Christmas, but I didn't need the whole piece. So I cut the bottom of it off and then I'm going to reuse the bottom piece, which is blank. And I'm going to just glue my date down. So it's, I've just typed out December 22. December 2022 um, and having those two I thought about layering it underneath the top but then I decided to just pop it over to the right into the the bottom right cluster and having that that repeated element just helps to bring a little bit of cohesiveness to the layout I love cutting I love um, 
changing embellishments to suit my needs. I'm not afraid to cut things up. I'm not afraid to tuck things behind. Um, I really think that you do have to make your supplies work for you wherever possible. So there is that awkward little space now in that label that's up to the top with the all I want for Christmas. So I go, th I'm having a look through these little um, word strips to see if there's anything else that I want to add. That little light and love piece was gorgeous. I thought it might go well underneath the label, but in fact, I think it goes better over the top of that little Christmas tree die cut. So I'm just going to keep having a look through here to find something that will go well and I thought about family time, but it was still not quite the right size. So I end up going with a little uh, piece that says, I think it says cherish this moment or something like that. Um, I do finish off off camera by adding some Nuvo drops, my favorite way to finish off a layout. And you will see those in the finished layout photos that are coming up in just a moment. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, I'd love for you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join me on all of my paper crafting adventures. I will leave it there for now and say thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.